Hi folks, Tony Knight Dog Isner here, and welcome to another film in this series where we're discussing dog aggression. And in this particular film, I want to talk about what people might think is aggression and what it actually is. Now this is especially relevant for dogs who are together in the same family, but also dogs on their own. I went to see a lady a few years ago and uh, she had a behaviourist out because she was worried about her pups, two dogs de Bordeaux, that were fighting. And the behaviourist had a look at them and said, yes, indeed, that is aggression and you're going to have to get rid of one. So basically this person gave this lady Sophie's choice because she loved them both dearly. Fortunately, a friend of hers knew me and asked me to go out and visit and just have a look to see what was going on. And we arrived, made us a drink, we, sat, we stood outside in the garden and all of a sudden the pups start playing. At which point this woman starts to shake and panic. And I said, what's the problem? She went, they're fighting again. I said, that isn't fighting, that's playing. Sure, they're making a bit of a noise and their mouths are open and they're sort of going har, har, har at each other, but no way is that aggression. I said, you don't have to get rid of one of these dogs. If you think that he's getting out of hand, you can step in. And we're going to talk about that on these, on these films subsequently. But the fact that she didn't have to give up the dogs because it was you know, correctly diagnosed as just being playing, meant this woman burst into tears with relief because she didn't have to give up one of the dolls she loved. See, let me give you an example, okay? This is Gypsy playing. Now some people might panic when they hear her making that noise and looking ferocious, but I know that she's just playing. If it gets out of hand, I simply stop the game. And that's one thing you can do. If you think the dogs are just getting a little bit too riled, you can step in, you can call one of the dogs, you can you know, clap your hands to distract them. Don't be tempted to put your hands in though, just in case, because some dogs inadvertently might just make a bit of a mark, mark or you know, a dent in your body. But it's not because they're, they're aggressive or vicious, it's just that in the play, sometimes it gets out of hand. Look, when, when me and my sister were little, we fought like cat and dog, no pun intended. And it was up to our mum and dad to basically say to us, play nicely or go to your rooms. And that's what you can do. Play is a very important part of finding out where you fit in, in the structure, in the pack structure, the hierarchy. They, you know, they even do it in the wild. It's not aggressive. If it gets a little bit too out of hand, that's because somebody's overstepping the mark. And as owner of your dogs, you probably know which one of them does tend to do that. So it's understanding the signals, but also not panicking if your dogs start to make a bit of a noise or, you know, rah, 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 as Gypsy was doing, as you just saw. So understanding the difference between aggression and play means that you're going to relax and allow your dogs to express themselves but also knowing that if it gets a little bit out of hand, you can step into the parent and go, play nicely kids, or go to your room. That's all for this film. Hope that's been helpful to you. Maybe you'll look at your dogs in a different way and relax a bit more. Stay tuned for more films coming up in the near future. My name's Tony Knight. Thanks for listening.